For a lot of you guys out there that musky fish like me, you've added a live scope or a forward facing sonar to your boat. And it's not a debate about whether that's right or wrong, but you also like to use it for ice fishing, which is an amazing use of that technology. And you wanna use one unit to do all that and you need a portable way of doing it. And after a lot of research, I kind of settled on Arc Lab. They're based out of Winnipeg, which is a few hours from me. And recently I ran up to Winnipeg and I picked up a couple boxes of stuff from Ian over at Arc Lab. So I want to take the opportunity to show you guys kind of what you get in the box, what you can expect when you buy the setup from them. And then I'm going to show you guys everything put together and then a quick like overview of how it works in my boat. And I'm going to save for another video when I'm on the water, kind of how it breaks down in my boat and how we're using it and how it's set up. But for, day, for today, it's all about unboxing and having a look at stuff from Arc Labs. Hey everybody, welcome back. Really cool stuff here. I got a couple boxes from my buddy Ian over at Arc Labs Fabrications in Winnipeg. And anybody that's been ice fishing with live scope or forward facing sonar knows about Arc Lab. If you do a Google search on any kind of ice fishing shuttles, they show up as one of the best. But what interests me is that their shuttle system and the way they have it designed on a mounting plate, you can move it from your boat, you can make it portable, which is really key to the way I fish, going from my boat to David's boat and to my little boat. So I got a box of stuff here, really cool stuff. I just wanted to show you guys because I think um, <clears throat> you guys in the musky world a lot of you have forward-facing sonar, and you also ice fish. This is like the best of both worlds on being able to take your live scope or your forward-facing sonar, whatever brand, and move it around and be kind of portable, and then use it for different applications. So right off the top, there's going to be a lot of stuff here, and I'm going to try and break it down into a couple parts. Got some really cool decals, love that kind of stuff. I'm gonna start here with this. This is really cool. This is a mounting plate that's gonna be set up in my boat and it's set up for Skidoo link style attachments that are gonna, so the shuttle can go in, lock in, and when I wanna take the shuttle out, I unlock it. This stays in the boat. I can take the shuttle totally portable that way. So this is basically the back plate of the shuttle they do everything in house in Winnipeg I went to their shop it's absolutely fantastic for anybody that's into machining and stuff their shop is just absolutely incredible so let's try and get the rest of the shuttle stuff out of here so this is part of the shuttle right there and this is the face plate for the shuttle, just with a little protective sleeve over it. So if I kind of put that together, that's how the shuttle looks. And I'll include some pictures off of their Facebook and socials on how this looks when it's kind of finalized. And inside here we have wiring harness, wiring harness, um, on off switch full instructions and then we have the cable cleat that goes on the back of the shuttle so if i bring this over here now you can kind of see the shuttle is sitting on this link plate basically like that there'll be some link adapters that we attach at the side lock them in it's locked in pull it off it comes off easy let's have a look in the second box here All right, into the second box we go here. There's my invoice, we'll keep that separate. <clears throat> All right, so inside of here, a couple things I wanna show you. One is this, this is really cool. This is what really turned me on to their style of stuff. So this is the Larmac 360. Now what this does is it attaches in a conventional 
cannon style rail that I'm going to have on my boat. This goes in, you can lock it anywhere, and you put that mount plate right on here, and it actually turns 360. I can't do it by hand without having something for some leverage. But now that can slide anywhere on my boat. I can turn it so I can see it in different locations. Again, I'll put some pictures in the video here so you guys get an idea of how that looks. Transducer cover. Um, these are the Skidoo Link mounting plates or mounting things that go on the side of the shuttle. Got some cable clips that go for the pole. This is their mounting plate that actually holds the pole that goes in the water. So this is set up as a swing. It slides in this same three inch track and now it sits out the side of the boat like that. And then your pole goes down here. Again, I'll shoot some pictures in here and I'll show you guys as we kind of build this together. And what they use is a ram mount. And then this piece goes right around the pole. Ram mount holds it on this mounting plate. So again, I'll have to put it all together so I can show you guys. Some more decals. Now this is for ice fishing. This is your tripod that goes around the ice pole. And for you guys, their ice pole is arguably the best in the business for a couple reasons. And I'll show you here in a second. I'll show you guys this in a second. So the main part of their pole is right here. And I'll break it out in a minute. But the big thing is it's all aluminum and they have a greasable swivel on here. So let's have a look at that, bear with me. All right guys, so here is the top of their ice fishing pole or the boat pole. Obviously use it for both, but the really cool part here is this swivel right here that attaches to either your ice fishing tripod or attaches to This piece that attaches down to the ram mount on your boat This is greasable and it's serviceable. So if it ever gets sticky, you can clean this out and re-grease it and it's nice smooth operation it has just enough tension in it that it's not going to turn on you all the time and here's the other half of the pole we'll take that out in a minute there's some mounting hardware in here and one other cool thing is they have pr proprietary mounts for each style of transducer so this one because i have a 32 garment comes with hardware mounts and this Mount here attaches to the bottom of the pole and I can do forward down view. It's in index to show me that. And then I can also swing it up, turn this to the side. And now I have perspective mode if I'm using it in the boat. So that's the stuff from Mark Labs, guys. It is just fantastic stuff, high quality. Like I say, they make it all in house there in Winnipeg. They do a great job. They're really good guys to work with. I've been talking with Ian over the course of the summer. I just finally had a chance to go up and pick all this stuff up. So I'm going to put this together and kind of show you what it looks like when I have this stuff together. So we'll be right back. But definitely check out Arc Lab Fabrication in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Okay, guys, I'm back. Took me a bit to get this all kind of put together, but I have it all together and I, I'll first show you, I got a little bit more light going on just because I wanted to show you guys everything. So this is the shuttle, black box mounted on the back, cable collector at the back, which I probably won't use for my application, sun shield that comes right from Mark Labs. And just letting you guys know, I'm not running a battery in here this summer because I'm gonna be running it on my boat. So I'm gonna have it hardwired into the boat and then in the winter I'll have an internal battery inside here but right now I don't have one and I will show you guys quickly in the boat my boat's in the garage so it's not the best spot to see but this is the Larmac 360 that slides into that track and this rotates all the way around you guys will see that 
But the cool thing here with these Skidoo link adapters is this sits right in there. Now I lock these down and it's locked in. At the end of the day, when I want to take it out, it pops right out and now it's totally portable. I can take it with me to Dave's boat just like that without a plate. And if Dave mounts a plate like this in his boat, he can have this in his boat. I can just bring the shuttle and we're set up, ready to go. Again, we'll have it hardwired into Dave's boat. This here is the pole mounting plate. This mounts in that three inch track. Super sturdy with the two clips here. Quite a bit of tension on there. All aluminum. No 3D printed stuff that I can see other than maybe the sun shield on the shuttle here. I think that's 3D printed. But there again, that's not structural in any way. So yeah, this is super heavy duty. Looks really good. And like I showed you guys, this is the ice fishing tripod. That will mount right there for winter. That's the thing I like about this setup is it's very convertible from summer to winter. And here's the lower half of the pole and their mount that allows for forward, down, and I can rotate it around for perspective. And I have a musky buddy neoprene cable collector or protector, sorry, covering that up. So again, that's going to be used for summer and winter. So hopefully I'll get out on the water here later this week and I'll include some footage. If I don't get a chance, I'll do another quick video for you guys to kind of show how it looks on the water in the boat. But for now, guys, that is the Arc Labs shuttle and ice pole, summer pole setup. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be a little bit spendy for you guys, but you do any kind of research and this is something that comes up as the absolute best stuff or one of the best things that you can use to have a shuttle, a pole system that's convertible summer to winter. So highly recommend it. Check out Arc Labs.